channel. So I'm going to show you how I was able to achieve this hairstyle. Let's get straight into it. The first thing I want to tell you is that this hair and the details will be in the description box down below. The other thing I want to tell you is that this is what I used throughout my hair as I was twisting it, that's what I used. And I also used rubber bands. Okay, so let me show you what I did. First, I've already parted my hair, as you can see, okay? Then I'm just going to take this hair and move it away. What I am going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this and I'm going to show this to you twice so that you can pick up on the technique, okay? So I'm moving this away. This is going to be the first part. Let's see, Talk this under here, good. So you'll see that I have a section of hair. I am going to go ahead and put some shine and jam. After I put the shine and jam, then I'm going to get some hair, which is right behind me. All right, here's the hair, okay? Then I am going to take the hair, move a little closer, take the hair. I am going to put it right in the middle of this section. So what I did was I parted this section of hair so that there's some hair on the right, some hair on the left. Now I'm going to take this hair and I'm going to put it right here, right there in the middle. Then the next very important thing is you have to wind the hair, okay? You're going to take one part and you're going to wind it in an upward position, just like this, okay? Winding the hair, winding the synthetic hair along with your hair. So what I did was I went ahead and I winded it up. Then this one, I am going to wind, but I'm going to wind it going in a downward position. Here's the trick though. Remember, you just went ahead and you wound this one in an upward position. This one has to be wound in a downward position, but you don't want this to unravel. So you sort of have to hold this one just a little bit. Take your other hand and then you're going to wind it going down. It's a little tricky. Probably find a way to hold this one and then you're going to wind it going downward. Okay, and then it should look like this. Now, here's the trick. The side or the section, the part that you wound in the upward position is what you're going to cross over to that other piece that you did in the downward position. And then you are just going to continue to twist. You can add more of the shining jam as needed, but that's it and you just keep on twisting, okay? Again, so here is my section of hair. I am going to get some shine and jam. putting it throughout this section of hair. Then, if you'd like, so that you know that you have a right and a left side, you can go ahead and split this into two. One on the right, one on the left, okay? Then, get your hair. Place it in between the right and the left side of the hairs that you parted. It should look like this. Then you are going to take one side and you are going to wind it up in, a, in an upward motion. Okay, wind it upward, wind it upward. This is what, what I mean by winding it. So what you're doing, you are twirling your hair along with the synthetic hair in an upward motion. 
Then you will go to the next side. Remember, you have to find some kind of way to hold on to the side that you just wound upward because you do not want it to unravel. So then you will go to the next side that you need to wind, but in a downward position. So I'm going to put my finger here just to hold that side that I just wound upward. And then I am going to wind this one. Oops wind this one in a downward motion. Now I have two sides. One of them is wound in an upward motion in an upward motion and then this one is in a downward motion. I am now going to take the side that I wound up in an upward motion and I'm going to cross it over to the one in a downward motion and begin to twist. Ooh. And you'll notice, so I'm glad that this is happening on camera. You'll notice that sometimes it may have a bit of a bump like this. That's not good. It's not going to look good. See, when, I, when I'm looking at you, you can tell that there's a bump there. If that happens, that's okay. Unravel it and start over. And let me tell you what a trick is so that you don't keep running into that issue. What you want to make sure of is that there's not too much of a gap here. The upward motion part and the downward part should be close together. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to make sure that there's not so much of a space here. So now let me go ahead. I'm going to wind this one up and I'm going to be conscious of it being closer to the one that's the downward motion, okay? So now, I can even feel how I've made them closer together now. Do you see that? See how there's not so much space in between? So let me do a downward motion. And then now I'm going to take the one that's in the upward motion and I'm going to cross it over and I should not have that bump. Okay, let me keep going so you can see it. Add Shine and jam, and now I'm going to keep going. And there is no hump, no bump. So now I'm going to show you how you would twist your hair from the base. I've already taught you how to section off your hair, how to place the synthetic hair on your hair, and then how to continue to twist. But I also want to show you what it looks like after you've done all of that good jazz and I want to actually twist it all the way down. Now, I know you might be thinking, well, I know how to twist, but I just want to show it to you because you cannot twist lightly. You have to twist in a sort of like tight way in order for you to have this, okay? In order for you to have the twists that look like this, all right? So it does not look loose all over. So what you want to do is take a look. So we've already done the top. I decided to sit down for this so you can really see it. And I'll twist all the way to the bottom so that you can see how to even place the rubber band, okay? So if you need to add more product, then you go ahead and do so with the shine and jam. And then what you want to do is just twist. But you are twisting tightly. You see that? What I do so that I can ensure that it is done tightly, I use my pointer finger in between uh, taking the one strand and then the other strand and crossing them over. So what I do is I twist it like this. So I, put, I take that pointer finger, I put it right here um, in between the first and second strand and then I use that as a way to gauge or as a placement, I should say, not a gauge, but a placement of where my next twist should go. So this is the way that I twist. Put the pointer finger there and I keep going. Okay, point a finger there and I keep going. Just like that, all right? And so that's what you're going to do. Let me take a little bit more product. Just like that. Oops, especially when you get to the ends because you want to make sure that they don't poke out. And I'm twisting it. Oops, see, it poked out a bit. Let me go back. Yeah. 
and I'm twisting it tightly, just like that. Point of finger out, point your finger out, and keep going, okay? That's what you want to do. And look, even still, it's poking out. Come on, stay down. <laughs> okay, I have to add a little more product. All right, see, just like that. And keep going, all right? So, let me keep going for you on camera so that you can see what the end result looks like. So, I'll just keep going. See how I keep sticking that point of finger right in the middle? And when you go fast, and you will go fast, you won't even have to think about it. You won't have to think about, oh, did I stick my pointer finger in between the strands? It'll just, it'll be natural for you after a while. If you're new to this and you're just trying this out, good for you, okay? Good for you, I love that. I love that you're trying something new. And trying to do it on your own, right? You never know until you try. going to keep going, 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 because I want you to see what it looks like when I am done twisting. Especially what it looks like when I'm done twisting tightly, okay? If it gets too long, right? Like if it's too long in front of your face, what I do is, and I don't, it's kind of naughty, you probably shouldn't really do this, but what I do is I just take it and I kind of just stick it in my mouth, like that. Just so that, let me take the hair out of my mouth. <laughs> just so that it's closer to me and it's not hanging really low. So I'll put it in my mouth like this. Okay. And take a look, compare this tight twist that I have with this one. See how this one is a bit looser? This is going to be the end result, this one. But this is the way that it looks before you kind of let it go. So let me show you, see what it looks like now? All right, now I'm kind of letting it go because see how it twisted here a bit? That's not what you want, right? So I'm kind of letting it go a little bit from the bottom, see that? Kind of letting it go, letting it go a bit. And what might happen is that it might unravel a bit at the bottom, that's okay. What you want is for it to be nice and straight from the root all the way down to the bottom. Okay. And then you get this. All right, so it's not so tight and now it actually looks like a staircase as opposed to before it didn't look so much like that after a while because this is a new twist after a while it's going to probably loosen up a bit and it'll look more like this but for now this is the way you want it to look so take a look all right from the root all the way down to the bottom and then now see how it came undone just a little bit right so now what you are going to do just going to twist it loosely, we'll twist it loosely. The reason I was saying um, earlier that it's kind of naughty to put this in your mouth is because you don't know where this hair has come from, right? Like, you don't know where it's been. And unless you did a vinegar rinse with it, it probably has tons of chemicals on it that really should not be in your mouth. And I did not do the chemical rinse with this hair. This is why I am saying that it's just not a good idea for you to put it in your mouth. So if you do want to use that method of putting it in your mouth so that it's closer to your face and not so far down, I would say at least wash it. Like, you know, 
at least not wash it, but rinse it with the white vinegar rinse, okay? And so this is the, what the hair looks like, all right? From the root all the way down to the bottom, all right? And if you find that this is maybe just too much for you, like you don't want this much out, you can just go ahead and clip it, okay? You can go ahead and just cut it right off. I think I might cut it right off too. Let me, let me do that now. All right, so here I am, and I'm just cutting it right off, okay? And this will look very similar to all my other twists, okay? And that, that is all. And there you have it, okay? This is the end result, all right? It took me a very long time to complete this hairstyle because it is very long. Now, if you want to do it, but you don't want it as long, then maybe it won't take you such a long time. I want to say it took me about eight to nine hours to finish my hair. So that's how long it's going to take. I have a birthday coming up and this is what I envisioned wearing very long twists. So I am very, very satisfied with the end result and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye guys.